Nerd. Hi, welcome to Nerd Locker, a place for your inner nerd. I'm Jasmine. I'm Brandon. And I'm Ryan. And you just got Rick <laughs> Roll. Oh, I know it's old, but it's still funny. Everyone thought he was black before they saw the video. Welcome to Nerd Locker. Gotcha. A poster this week was released for Kevin Smith's first horror movie, Red State. Um, really excited about this. He edited it as he shot it to kind of get a better idea how everything's going to go with the feel and everything. It's, uh, it's about some kids that end up in middle America in a very conservative town with a crazy uh, pastor. Um, kind of based off of Fred Phelps and the crazies at the Westboro Baptist Church who are huge Kevin Smith fans. If you follow him at all. <laughs> um, but very excited for that. I'm not sure how I feel about the poster. It's just a, it's a person in a white sheet. With the cross. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah, but I like to see something from it. Like, I would I wanted to be in that movie really bad. I know it sounds lame, but I like send him messages on Twitter all the time. And I was just like, I'm sure you read them. Can I, no, I'm sure, I know he didn't, but I don't know how else to fucking get a hold of him. He responds to a I lot just, of his I don't know how else to get a no, hold of him. I was on, a lot of his tweets I was on Facebook, I was on Twitter. I was just like, put me in your movie. And we see how that worked out, Kevin. By the way, this is Brandon's uh, Twitter handle. <laughs> I know he wants more friends on there, so. I do too, because I lost five this week, so. People are unfollowing you. Yeah, they really are. All those are. nerd blocker blasts. Kevin Smith, this name, respond to it. Kevin Smith is um, no longer a viewer. Damn. Count him out. Um, we have no demographic now. Speaking of... Uh, People who wear shants. Shant. Short pants. Who's the man? Shant. Speaking of Kevin Smith, uh, photos were just released of the suit that was supposed to be used in the Kevin Smith written, Tim Burton directed Superman, Superman movie. Lives. Superman Lives. Yeah. That was Nicolas Cage also signed on. Oh my God. And, you know, now viewing the suit, Going with the three rules that were given to uh, Kevin Smith. Uh, no flying, no cape, and he has to fight a giant spider. This movie wasn't made for obvious reasons. Because no. it was uh, too awesome. It was so <laughs> awesome. It would have blown your mind if it was a Brainiac, Brainiac spider. Well, no, it was uh, the Brainiac dog that they needed. I like, feel like if I talk. had enough time and enough money, I could write a script that would be awesome well, with those requirements. Like he would have like a flying scooter or something. But like, like well, the other vision. thing that Orion has, where he's like, yeah, swimming. oh, absolutely, That'd be fantastic. See? Well, I, I I heard that like his original script was just amazing. Yeah. So kudos to it's online. If your guns. anybody wants to read it, but I haven't read it yet. <laughs> if anyone wants, it. Ryan reads what he'll read about it on Wikipedia. <laughs> he doesn't read comic really. There'd be like a whole paragraph for that. There might be. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then Superman becomes a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Other movie news coming out this weekend is going to be that really sweet Zach Galifianakis and the Robert Downey Jr. movie, Due Date. Quite excited. Nothing, like nothing better than a road trip film. Modern planes, trains, and automobiles. Should be yeah. hilarious though. I'm excited to see Robert Downey Jr. in something like this, you know, after Sherlock Holmes and Iron Man and, and action yeah. and explosions. I want to see him be funny. He'll never be as funny as Tropic Thunder though. I kind of wanted him to play War Machine and Iron Man. That was my dream, but... That would have been amazing. Can't win them all. New animated movie Megamind hits theaters this weekend as well, starring Brad Pitt, Will Ferrell, Tina Fey, and Jonah Hill. About a, Superman, a superhero and a supervillain that uh, kind of face off and supervillain ends up becoming the superhero. It looks interesting. Sounds like irredeemable. The oh, first... Only much kid-friendlier than <laughs> irredeemable. The first six minutes or so are online. Really? Right now. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty okay. It's pretty, pretty decent. Okay, you know. Sorry. It's yeah. another animated movie. I don't care for animated movies that much. Like. What about Toy Story three that comes out on DVD this week? Watched it last night. Wow. Uh, on Blu-ray. Incredible. It was very good. I, I made me cry the first time. I almost cried in that theater. I haven't seen it, guys. So. It's okay. I'd appreciate if you didn't ruin anything for me. You know, when oh. Buzz gets killed. I mean. Uh, I'm kidding. That was a joke. Oh <laughs> man, I was like, you're a real Buzz kill. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for you, NerdLocker.com viewers, I was reading Wikipedia yesterday and I found out that Grant Morrison's Batman and Robin is concluding. His run on Batman and Robin. He's still gonna read it. But, did you hear the big news that happens in the concluding issue? Oh, it, it didn't snap. say on Wikipedia, how am I supposed to know? You're gonna find out another week or so. Or we can just tell you right now. Tell me right now. Alright. Be my Wikipedia. Bruce Wayne is out 
as the uh, funds behind Batman. Dude, mind blown. Gasp! Who would have thought? You know what I'm gonna the do? I'm gonna go home city. right now and I'm gonna write a sentence on Wikipedia. Uh, another, I'm gonna be the one that does it. Is this before or after he becomes the pirate? I don't know. <laughs> he it doesn't make sense to me. It's after the pirate. The first teaser image for Transformers 3 has been released. Um, looks like it's got something to do with space. Maybe we're going to the moon in this one. The only way I could feel that it'd make up for Transformers 2 is if they killed Bumblebee. No, because then someone's gonna have to scream. Bumblebee! And, well, I, and I, how about this? Bumblebee just crashes into a police car. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that already happened. Oh, that's crazy. It was on the internet. No, but seriously, like, just, they should, Optimus Prime should have stayed dead. Now we need Bumblebee dead. Well, now that Megan Fox isn't in the movie, what's the point of me going to see it? <laughs> that Megan Fox isn't in the movie. You're not getting what I'm saying. No, I'm getting what you're saying, but I just. What are you see, saying? She's got like half a little crab Thank thumbs, you! No dude. one ever talks about the Who's looking at the thumbs? thumbs? I am, because I noticed them. They're like half the size and they're creepy. They're you got gross. too high of standards, dude. It's like in Scary Movie too, <laughs> and he's like, my dear. I don't got time to look at thumbs when I'm looking at them titties. <laughs> that are falling out of her shirt and the motorcycle she's fixing. Movie was terrible. Kill Bumblebee. All hail Megatron. <laughs> All hail Megatron. All right. nuggets. Mm. All right, and it's finally here. This Saturday will be the Las Vegas Valley Comic Book Festival at the Clark County Library. It's totally free and totally awesome. Someone's gonna be there from Nerd Locker. We're really not sure who, but it's a surprise. I'll give you one hint. It's not gonna be me. <laughs> mm -hmm. The plot thickens. <laughs> this is a uh, category outside of the stuff we're well-rounded on, mm. but um, Magic the Gathering and Tabletop games of other sorts. All of that. We don't know anything that about we it. Don't know but Shoe Truck is a huge fan. He is. And this week, uh, Neon Con will be in town, which is <laughs> basically all that stuff. Uh, I can't wait to bust out my, my ultra rare Holo Charizard again. Oh, oh dude. snap. I'm, I, I might be there. Really? I might. Well, Shoe Truck will be there. Shoe so make sure. Uh, we'll do a little Facebook. We'll have Shoe Truck here next week. Uh, Boom. Talking about it. Right, buddy? He might be. He has a family. <laughs> He's married. Hey, it's Brandon. My pick this week is Superman Earth One, written by J. Michael Straczynski and some beautiful art by Shane Davis. Really good read. Love it. Cannot wait to see what else they do with this Earth One. Please pick it up soon. Hey guys, Ryan here, and my pick of the week was Tron Knight 2010. Yeah, I know it was last week, but I had the privilege of attending. And let me tell you, those 20 minutes of footage was better than any other movie you're going to see this year. In fact, it was 10 times better than any other movie you're gonna see this year. And I got posters and a wristband and other cool swag. So be jealous. And that's it. All right, see ya. Hey guys, Jasmine from nerdblocker.com here, giving you my pick of the week. And it is Toy Story 3. The beautiful trifecta has completed itself and it's amazing. Nothing's better than seeing a 20 year old man cry, which I got to see. So I would suggest going out, picking it up. It'll blow your mind. All righty. That'll be all for this week. Be sure to visit us at nerdlocker.com and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. See you around. Jesus. Have a nerdy week. And we here at Nerdlocker promise to never use an overused YouTube video again. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run. Come on, do you think you guys can trust us? <laughs> you can't. You really shouldn't. No. We're deceitful. See you guys next week. And pretty. All right, let's get. Nerd Locker!